This is vlog number seven, and in this vlog, I want to talk about expanding techniques. So we got to the end of our technique, four parts there last time. We talked about breathing, we talked about embouchure, we talked about fingers, and we talked about tongue. That's our four things. I also try to teach you how to push yourself each time. So remember, when you're building up this practice routine, sorry, I don't want to call it practice, when we're building up this playing routine, um, it's really important to have that regular thing to help build and expand our technique. So. Paganini, the famous violinist, said that you know when you're playing an instrument, you've got to find your technique as new every single time you pick up the instrument, and that is kind of true. You know, we've got to go through things. We've got to build up from basic notes and breathing and moving air onto these kind of more complex things and tasks that start to twist our brains around a wee bit. Um, so we need to look at how we can use them then to expand and expand our technique. So. You know, just to highlight again, you know, remember we talked about when we did the breathing exercises and the blowing exercise, we didn't talk about just breathing and blowing through the instrument. We talked about really quiet, how long. And it's this curiosity element. It's this, how long can I do that for? How fast can I do that for? How many times can I do that? It's this kind of uh, questioning kind of brain that makes you move forward really quickly and become a better learner with anything that you do in life. So, you know, I wonder if, for example, on the skateboard, I wonder if I can do um, a kickflip to this, to this, to this. I wonder if I can link these three tricks together. I wonder if I can do that off that drop that's a bit bigger. You know, it's that curiosity and questioning that will help you progress and move forward. The other thing that helps you progress and move forward as well is progression happens when we're having fun. So make sure you're enjoying what you're doing. And if that's like means, you know, you do some of the kind of more difficult tasks like playing scales and things and then go and do something totally different, like play with a yo-yo or something like that, or you know, go and play something with a backing track that you enjoy. It's really important to break everything up like that because that's a good way to progress. If we just sit and say, today I am going to learn how to double tongue and try to double tongue, it's not gonna happen. You know, we need to kind of break things up, try different things, go away, have a cup of tea, do something totally different, um, and that will help us really push our technique and improve even further. So to give you the key points of expanding our technique from those basic exercises, we've got playing them quieter, playing them louder, playing with crescendos, without crescendos, um, playing with um, playing faster, especially the articulation things and the finger things. So we're going quicker, we're going quieter. How fast can we do that for? How long can we play them for? How many times can we repeat them? I wonder if we can play the Haydn Trumpet Concerto high section up an octave. You know, those stupid things, those stupid questions just make you push your technique and get better and improve. So I hope that's been useful. Um, make sure whatever you do, look for ways to expand your technique and improve your playing as much as possible. So for example, again, if it's something really difficult that you've got and it could be, if you find that section hard or try playing it quicker. So it's kind of just about pushing yourself and pushing yourself beyond your limits so that your comfortable space is a performance space when it comes to playing everything through at the right speed and everything else. So push yourselves and try lots of new things, faster, louder, quieter, and even slower as well. 